Hello everyone. If someone told me five years ago that in 2025, an AI agent could take messy data, cleans it up, build machine learning models, visualize that data, build dashboards, and generate a report, I wouldn't have believed them. Now with this new co-pilot AI analyst agent, everyone has access to it and it's unbelievable. This AI agent generates Python code, imports Pandas library, and executes that code. If it makes mistakes, it goes back, fix them up, and it's just mind-blowing. In this video, I will show you how it works and how this changes everything for data analysts and data scientists. If you are new here, welcome to my channel. I'm Dr. Ryan Ahmed. I'm a professor and best-selling online instructor. I love teaching and I've taught over half a million students worldwide. And on this channel, I help you learn co-pilot, AI, AI agents, and large language models in a simple, easy, and fun way. So let's go ahead and dive in. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So if you start up Microsoft Copilot, on the left-hand side, you should be able to see all agents. And if you go ahead and click here, you should see all the different AI agents available by Microsoft and also by other companies too. So for example, you can see here, if you scroll down, built by Microsoft, there is an AI researcher agent, there is AI analyst agent, there is also visual creator and so on. And there are also additional AI agents here too. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and open the analyst AI agent. So just go ahead and click on it. It's going to tell you kind of a quick description of what that agent does. You can just click open and that is going to fire up our analyst AI agent. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to use this kind of data sets. And this data set is known as the cancer data sets. Think of it as more of a benchmark data. We have multiple features such as the radius of tumor cells. We also have here the texture, we have the mean perimeter and so on. And if you keep scrolling to the right, you should be able to see a column here called target. And this target is simply either zero or one. That means each of these rows could be patients. And these patients, either they have malignant or benign tumor. So they simply have cancer or not. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to upload this messy data to our analyst AI agent. And let's see if it's able to build machine learning models, clean up the data, and also evaluate these models as well. So let's go ahead and do that. What I'm going to do really is just go ahead and click here, add content, and just upload that file to Microsoft Copilot. I'm just going to click plus here. I'm going to say add content, and I'm going to click on that arrow pointing upwards. And all you need to do is to just go ahead and click cancer, just upload that file here. And I'm not going to even mention or write any prompt. Let's go ahead and just click run. And let's see what that AI agent is going to do. So basically what you see right now is that automatically it understood that this data need to be analyzed because that's basically all that agent does. And you would see that it's here opening and inspecting the file. And the amazing thing here is that it was able to generate Python code for you. So if you are familiar with Pandas library, it was able to import Pandas library. It was able to read our CSV file here. And it was able to visualize the first few rows that you can see here in the data, which is amazing. If you keep going, you will find that it was able to review the data set, summarize that data set. So the idea is we didn't even tell it what to do but it was able to create its own tasks and generate Python code and even run that Python code as well for you. Let's keep going. What you see here, if it was able to, once you see success, that's good news. That means that this step uh, has been executed successfully. So now it was able to process that file request, summarize that data content. It was able to finalize that data set here. And here we go. So what I really like about the Copilot AI analyst agent is that its ability to present the results in just plain, simple English. So it was able here to tell you that here, these are the number of rows, these are the number of columns, 
and it's only showing you as well here it understood without even telling it that likely zero means benign, one means malignant. And the idea here is that these large language models, they have seen the entire internet. So they basically know kind of from a very high level what that data means. And you can see here, for example, the mean radius, we have the mean area, worst perimeter and so on. And now it's kind of asking you follow up questions. It's asking you, should I visualize the data? Should I perform classification, do feature importance analysis or something else, which is amazing. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and ask it, okay, could you please generate 10 data visualizations? And let's go ahead and run it. So what it's gonna do, it's gonna pick up kind of the 10 best data visualizations here to showcase to us. So now the analyst is creating its own task. It's gonna start generating Python code and also executing that code for you. So here we go. So now we should be able to see, it was able to read the data. And these are the 10 visualizations that I mentioned. It's going to plot a histogram for the mean radius, histogram of the mean texture, box plot for the mean radius, scatter plot between the mean radius and mean texture, and so on. Pretty amazing. And let's go ahead. So now it's um, clarifying, I would say, the file details. It is creating all these different visuals for us. And now it will basically start to generate all these data visualizations. How incredible is this? So here we go. So now should be able to see the distribution here of the mean radius. This is distribution mean texture. Here we got the mean radius by target. We also got the scatter plot that can show a mean radius versus mean texture. So you can see these kind of two different classes here, zero and one. Should be able to also see here a correlation heat map where you can see if there is any strong positive correlations or negative correlations between features. If you are enjoying this video so far, I would really appreciate it if you can just hit the like button. It's totally free, but it helps us a lot. And if you like to go a little bit deeper, please go ahead and join our free AI community. You can find a link in the description below. It's a great place to connect, ask questions, and learn from others. As a bonus, when you sign up, I will send you all the slides, all the prompts, and data that we used in today's demo. You can also see what we call it pair plot, which is generated by a library called Seabor. So it was able to import multiple libraries and you would be able to see all these different analysis just writing three different, very simple prompts in plain English. So here we go. So now we should be able to see the KDE or kernel density estimate. And here we have the bar plot as well. And finally, here we got another scatter chart that can show the worst radius versus worst area. Okay, pretty amazing. What I could do as well is I can go ahead and ask it, okay, could you please go ahead and perform a feature ranking for me? So now I would like to see which feature, which input has the largest impact on the output. So here we go. So to do that, basically it understood that now I need to train a random forest classifier model to be able to do that. And here we go. So it was able to train that model for us. It was able to display the feature importance graph. It's coming up next. And you should be able to see worst area as one of the top features that directly impact whether a patient has cancer or not. Okay, what I love here is the ability to train machine learning models using Microsoft Copilot AI Analyst Agent. So here what I've done is I ask you, okay, could you please train five machine learning models? And here I intentionally put spelling mistakes just to see if the agent is able to understand what I mean here or not. So I'm going to ask you, okay, could you please train these five machine learning models and compare their performance? And I would say this is kind of a miracle right now. You have an AI agent building another multiple AI or machine learning models, training them, assessing their performance, and here we go. And we are just humans sitting there watching, giving them instructions. So now we should be able to see here, it was able to split our data to training and testing. It was able to plot here or kind of visualize all the different metrics such as accuracy, precision, recall, F1 score. What I really like here is if that agent made any mistakes, it will be able to go back and actually fix itself, create its own better tasks and resolve these issues as we move along. So here we go. Now we should be able to see here it's trying to compare these models and look at this. Now we have a leaderboard that can show logistic regression models, decision trees, random forests, support vector machines, showing you the accuracy, precision, and recall across all of them. 
And what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna ask it, could you please plot the confusion matrix for the best model? I'm gonna say, let's say for the best model, and let's go ahead and run it. So now I'm gonna pick that best model and I would like to see the confusion matrix. Of course, if you are a data scientist or data analyst, you understand what I mean here. But the idea, we just wanted to have a visual representation of the performance of all these different models. And here we go. So now it was able to generate that confusion matrix using scikit-learn library, and it was able to here visualize our matrix, which is coming up next. You should be able to see a summary here of the true positives, true negatives, false positives, and false negatives as well. Finally, what I would like to do is I would like to ask it, could you please plot the receiver operating curves, or what we call it rock curves, for all models? So let's go ahead and see it. it was able to understand what I mean here. So again, it's gonna generate that code and execute that code for us. Um, okay, it's taking some time here to run. Okay, and here we go. So now that code has been generated, here we go. And if you scroll down, you should be able to see here, it's trying to visualize, kind of view our rock curves. And here we go, it's gonna come up right now. All right, look at this. So now we got a nice receiver operating uh, characteristic curve and you should be able to see any model that is on the top left corner. That means it is the best performing model. And that's it. That's all I have for this demo. I hope you enjoyed it. Please go ahead, give it a try. And I would love to see what you can create with the AI analyst agent. That's all I have for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please tell me in the comment section below what do you think AI could do by 2035? Would love to see what everyone thinks. And please check out my courses in the description below as well if you want to learn more. If you found this video helpful, please make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell. I've got a ton of content coming up your way. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.